Welcome to Student Ministry That Matters. I'm Ben Trueblood, and on this episode, we're gonna talk about a person's posture, what they're going through in their life, and how that leads to critical discipleship moments, both for you and the students in your ministry. Have you ever considered that there are actually times in your life where you are more likely to grow in your spiritual relationship with the Lord than at other times? Hang with me for a second here. Think about a time in your own life where you grew, where you matured in your relationship with God uh, by a large amount over a short period of time. Now, chances are something happened in your life. There was a catalytic moment. There was a situation that occurred that puts you in a place to hear from God in a way that's different than perhaps just any other Tuesday. Let me give you an example. For one of those uh, times for me, it was in 2005 when my mom passed away. So that obviously created a different situation for me than at other points in my life. It was different than the Tuesday before. And walking through that situation put me in a place to hear from God, for him to reveal himself to me in a different way than at other points in my life. And the result of that were some things that happened that really pushed my relationship with him forward. They caused me to grow or mature in a way that's different than just the normal everyday step-by-step -step growth and maturity in our relationship with the Lord. Now, here's what we need to understand. Students, you and I go through these same moments, but students that we minister to are in and out of these posture moments much more frequently than we are in our lives. So the, the girlfriend or boyfriend that they broke up with after dating for six weeks may not seem like a big deal to us, but to them, it's one of these posture moments because they've just simply lived less life. It's a big deal to them. So we need to be able to spot when our students are in and out of these posture moments in order to move those just posture moments into discipleship moments where they can hear from the Lord in a different way. We see this also in the Old Testament as God would be guiding his people. And as they go through certain things, uh, a situation would occur and God would move in their midst and he would command them to build a tower or build an altar in order to mark them, in order to place remembrance on that specific moment. And so just like for me, when my mom passed away, that was an event that marked me not just in my life, but in my spiritual life as well because of what God did in me at that moment. Now here's the key thing to remember, both for your discipleship and for the discipleship of those that you lead. First for you, when you're in one of these moments, seek out what God has for you. Sometimes these moments are struggles. Sometimes these moments contain sadness, like the example that I gave. Another one of those for me would be when my son Jonathan was born. Not a sad moment, a happy moment, but still a moment that marked me and still a moment that put me in a posture to hear from God in a different way. So seek out spiritual maturity in those moments where your posture may feel different before the Lord. Now for your students, the key here is understanding how to move them from just a posture moment into one of these discipleship moments. And you can't do that all by yourself. You're going to need a group of leaders to come alongside you that you've recruited, trained, and developed to help you spot students that are in these posture moments and lead them to hear from God in a different way. We're gonna talk all about that next week on student ministry that matters. If you're willing to share a posture moment that you've had, I'd love for you to leave a comment down below and talk about something that God has taught you during a specific time in your life. Before you leave the channel, make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.